I mean, you can tell from the, the cover, this is going to be a, a silly, fun time. Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about Debunked by Dito Abbott. This is the first book in the Terravinum Chronicles and uh, yeah, this one I knew was going to be a fun time. I originally heard about this one from Andrew from Andrew's Wisdom Reads. Uh, he read it and then I, I've had this copy for quite a while uh, and uh, which actually it was I got a signed copy off his website which came with a really cool map which I showed uh, when I last talked about this. Uh, but this is kind of an uh, adventure uh, fantasy type novel with uh, some humor and that type of thing all put in. And we're following uh, two characters, Alex and Ozzy, who after their, their grandfather is presumed dead, uh, after he goes missing, and apparently this happens a lot, but this time it's been long enough that he is presumed dead, uh, they end up getting pulled into uh, this big, uh, kind of whole big thing going on and find out there is a, another world uh, out there that they, they end up traveling to and trying to figure out essentially what's going on and or rescue their grandfather if he is indeed still alive. And so it's the, the setup right off the bat, you could tell it, it's silly and it's fun. Uh, and we're seeing, you know, the grandfather's is looked at as this like really bad explorer because he's always missing or turning up in like the wrong place uh, all of a sudden. And you find out it's because he's actually been exploring uh, a completely different place that's like a, an alternate or parallel world of some sort and that type of thing. And there's a lot of uh, kind of absurdist humor uh, in here as well, which leans a little bit more, I'd say a little bit more toward the Douglas Adams side of things than the Terry Pratchett. Um, and uh, what this reminded me of in some ways, uh, possibly because it involves an airship um, and uh, some other just zany things, it reminded me a bit of Over London, uh, which was by George Penny and Tony Johnson, which is one I really enjoyed uh, that I read last year. Or I, I, yeah, I did the audio for that one. Uh, yeah, that was last year. Yeah, okay. So I had to think about my dates for a minute. Uh, time flies sometimes. So yeah, so that one was last year. Um, and right me that a bit, that one leaned a little bit more toward the Pratchett than the Adams though. And I think I, I prefer a little bit more the Pratchett to the Adams, but uh, still some, some kind of zany things here. This one is a uh, younger reading, which I didn't realize at the time. But it's just kind of a, it, it does feel like it has a bit of that all ages, uh, just fun feeling to it. And uh, you just absolutely never know what you're going to get in this book as far as the crazy things. Now, the interesting thing, too, is this does lean a little bit more into the sci-fi side, despite being a fantastical adventure. So it kind of borders, it's that, you know, weird tale where, you know, you're in like a, a magical land, there is magic, but then so much of it is also science-based and weird experiments and crazy things like that happening as well. And so the mix just kind of gives it its own unique bit of flair. Uh, I, I feel like with focusing on both aspects there. That's why I remember this one. It, uh, it was entered into both uh, Spithbo and uh, the, the, the sci-fi one as well. And like the sci-fi one, people felt it was too fantasy. And the fantasy one, people felt it was too sci-fi. And so it's it definitely borders between the two, and uh, there's a, just a lot of crazy stuff that happens. Lots of anthropomorphized animals, and uh, just different types of people, and crazy things, and you know the crazy map in general, which I've put away. I should have gotten out my big map again, but um, you can see you know there's there's the uh, crazy map, and there's just there's a lot of different stuff going on here. And so this was a really fun time for me. I I, I felt like I said it. It read a little bit younger than, than what I prefer, and the, the humor did go a little bit off to the slightly more absurd side than what I'm super in for. Uh, so I, I I had a good time with this one, uh, but um, I, I feel like it just it didn't land everything with me. But with books like this, too, I you know it, I feel like it just is a lot of it is going to depend on the style of humor and if that style of humor does work for you. Uh, with it, but this I think is just a solid and, and fun kind of ride here. So I had, I had a solid time with this one. It's, it's not a new favorite or anything, but it's one that I, I did enjoy uh, and I was glad to finally get into. Um, and uh, it, I think it'll be interesting to see where this is going from here because I was expecting um, a, a little bit of a different kind of story with some of the characters versus what really happened. Uh, than what I got. So I wonder if, if more of that's going to be explored in uh, later books in the series because that very well could be that, that more, more of that kind of thing is going to be coming. Um, but the 
the only really uh, critique I, I had for kind of just the, the pace and the flow is that we're constantly kind of just moving on to, to new places. Um, and it doesn't always feel like there's a super strong reason for where we're going or what we're doing. And I, I think, once again, part of that's just the style because it's it's meant to be just sort of zany and we go here and we do this and these crazy things happen. Uh, but there were, there were a few times where it's like, why are we doing this? Is this really what we need to do here? Uh, and so it was, it was interesting, but lots of, lots of, I said, lots of different kind of just crazy things in it. And this is definitely, this is the kind of book you're just, you're reading to have a good time and have a fun time with it. And so it's, it's wild. If you, if you like kind of zany, absurdist humor, a type of thing, you want kind of just a, a fun, light, easy to read adventure type of novel. This is a good one for that, for sure. Uh, and definitely worth checking out. But overall, those are my thoughts on Debunked by Dito Avent. Let me know in the comments if you've read this one and kind of what your thoughts were on it too. Always interested to hear from you. Of course, give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Check the link in the description as always for the Wizard of the Enclave Discord. If you want to check books, whether this book, other books, really anything at all, it's a lot of fun. We'd love to have you. And of course, if you enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe.